Hi, this is Alan Cordry with Van Breed Management, and today I'd like to show you an application that I built using Windows Presentation Foundation and the Connect for Windows SDK, and of course the Connect Natural User Interface, or NUI. Before I actually show you the application, um, let's go over some of the basics of the NUI and also the requirements for the SDK. Uh, the NUI is a very powerful piece of hardware. It actually has two infrared cameras, a regular color camera, and four microphones. These microphones also have noise canceling on them and direction finding, so they can actually separate speakers and know the depth they're using. Uh, so it's a very, very powerful piece of hardware that Microsoft has come out with. Um, and it's very exciting that we can actually program against this in Windows. So now let's go ahead and look at what we need to have to start before we can even program. Before we can program with the Connect SDK, we need to make sure we have all the software we need installed already. And there are several requirements. Um, you can find those requirements at the website uh, www.connectforwindows.org. That's O-R-G. Um, I'm showing this on the screen as well, so if you just want to look at it. Some of the things you need to make sure you have, you have to have uh, some sort of Visual Studio, uh, either uh, Visual Studio 2010 or 2010 Express. Make sure you have the .NET Framework 4.0. They recommend that you bring down the Microsoft uh, DirectX runtime. And also if you're going to use the microphones, so you want to use the speech to either capture audio or to use the voice recognition for voice commands, uh, you need to bring down all the Microsoft speech platforms and their runtimes and also the language packs as well. Now they don't list it here, but I highly recommend that you bring down the Coding for Fun for Connect toolkit. Uh, this toolkit uh, comes in very, very handy. Uh, there's a lot of good shortcuts and things you can use. As you can see on the website c4connect.coplex.com, the Coding for Fun Connect toolkit exists. It has extension methods for the skeletal tracking, skeletal data, and it also has some very handy controls like the hover button. Again, you can uh, download it for c4connect.coplex.com. Also, before we look at the application, I'd like to uh, point out a few helpful hints that will uh, make things a little easier for you. Uh, but there's also things that can trip you up. Um, a good example is when you're downloading DLLs from the, the internet, uh, they could end up being blocked. So what you need to do is find the DLL, right-click it, go to Properties, and click the Unblock button. If in your project you end up having an error saying that it cannot find the namespace for the DLL, even though it's referenced in your project, chances are this is what you're looking at. Um, knowing this little fact can save you a lot of time in troubleshooting and a lot of Googling. Trust me. Another good tip when you're programming against the Connect SDK, whenever you are closing your windows or closing your application, make sure you uninitialize the NUI. The NUI can hold resources after you've closed the application if you do not uninitialize it. So this needs to be handled in your application or it will be burning resources even though the application itself is not running. So always make sure you call that. It's just a one-liner, very easy to have, easy to do. Let's go ahead and look at our application here. It does demonstrate the three runtime options out of the NUI. It uses the color camera, the depth camera with player index, and also the skeletal tracking. Uh, the first we're using is the color camera, and you'll notice I have a frame up in the top right hand corner. Um, it's just a basic camera. Um, there's a very good tutorial on connectforwindows.org uh, that shows how to set this up. Uh, it's very simple to use. Um, I highly recommend you use the tutorial. It's a, a good basic application that gets you familiar with how to utilize the run times, how to initialize them, how to uh, create the video frames and everything else. In the left hand corner, we're actually using the two IR cameras and we're utilizing those to create map color to a depth field. And as you can see, as I move back and forth through the depth field, it changes and also gets more detail as I slowly move. Something that's cool is since this is an IR camera, I can actually go over here, turn out the lights, 
and the applications can still find me. So now my applications can see in the dark. I haven't really thought of a practical use for having my applications see in the dark yet, but now they can do it. So that's pretty neat. And here I'm using the skeletal tracking to map an image on the screen to the movement of my right hand. I can move it back and forth and the image moves around. This combined with a hover button from the Coding for Fun Toolkit allows me to wire an event that will play a WAV file and change the title whenever I mouse over the image or the button. So when I do this, the event fires, we hear the WAV file, and my title bar has changed. I don't have a use yet for a moving application, but as soon as I figure out one, I've got that in my toolkit now. So this is my application overall. Nothing real fancy. Um, it's all based off the tutorials that are on the connectforwindows.org website. And so that was the application. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing it and it motivates you to go out and download the software and try it for yourself. Again, I highly recommend you do the tutorials on connectforwindows.org and you too can create applications that can see in the dark and move and then the world will be a better place. Have a great coding day.